Welcome back to Freeman Space Bunker. I'm Matt Freeman. And I'm Warren Lee. All right. Today, Warren's going to show you how he changes strings and does everything on my bases before a show. It's going to be all Warren all day long. Hope you like it. Thanks. All right, welcome to the base bunker. Matt Freeman's base bunker, except we're not in the base bunker. We're on tour here in Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota at the uh, Target Field where the Minnesota Twins play. Um, this is his main a custom uh, hollow body base that uh, Fender made for him. It's lighter than your average. So that's what he likes to play on this tour. We just started using this on this one. This is main. We only have a 30 minute set, so it's not that bad. Uh, but I still like to change the strings every day just because of the weather. Yeah? Sweat, grind, clean outdoors. So, first I cut the strings off, then I will use uh, Miracle Cloth from Dunlop, courtesy of Dunlop, and uh, clean the frets. See, that's the grind from one show. So, we have a pretty quick breakdown, so I really don't get that much of a chance to wipe stuff down at the end of the night. So, this is why I do um, a more, I guess, a deep cleaning uh, day of the show. Some days I will go use the lemon oil. I don't like using this every day because it's heavy. Um, and I will wipe it down because it does leave a residue if you don't. I also like to use Q-tips to clean along the edges to get rid of anything I think you get with the initial wipe. still get a little bit of a transfer. Much, but it was still enough to reach the residue. Next, I just use uh, Dunlop 65, which is body of white down from the sweat. Strings by Fender, 105 to 45 gauge. Line it up. I like to usually cut two posts of a different. So if my post is here, I have to cut it usually about there, right? So it's all preference, I guess. There probably is a proper way to do this, but I never learned it. <laughs> That's the way I do it. <clears throat> string 
winder? Eh, <clears throat> it's up to you know. I prefer to do it by hand. Some people like to use string winders. I don't mind using doing it by hand. So. Again, as I put each string on, I'll stretch more. So by the time I get to the fourth string, the top three should be pretty good and stretched out. Okay, there you go. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, thanks for Casey in the back there for doing all that uh, filming. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see on the channel. Uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.